it's real. It really exists. So we're here on Wadmawa Island, right outside Charleston, South Carolina, at the site of one of my favorite movies. This private residence was used as the house in the notebook that Noah gives to Allie. Today, we're getting an exclusive tour. And I am so excited to see it. Come on with me, let's go look. It's real, it really exists. Hi, come on in. Thanks so much for having us. Oh, we're so glad to have you on such a beautiful day. I know, perfect weather out on Wadmawa. I know. Obviously, people recognize the front of the house from the notebook. It's the house that Noah yep. gives to Allie, and it's iconic. But real people live here. Exactly. This is a family home. It's a family home, which yeah. I love. So yeah, can you tell me a little bit about that? They didn't shoot any of the movie inside was, the house. Yeah, there was nothing shot inside the house. It was just outside stuff. Um, but y'all still got the boot while they were filming. Exactly, exactly. So we had to leave for a little bit just because there was a lot of craziness. So the house still is very recognizable from the front, but there were some things that they changed for the filming of the movie. Ex what were some of those? Well, initially they uh, tacked up old boards and made the house look like it was falling down in the yard. They brought in all this debris and sticks, and then when he fixed it up, they put on the blue shutters, added a side porch. What was it like to see all of that unfolding at your family's home? It was bizarre and a little <laughs> surreal. <laughs> it was amazing to kind of see the amount of effort and people that are needed to make a movie. Yeah, a big old I production. no idea, I know. And Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams were just like <laughs> wandering around your front yard. I know, it was That's pretty cool. amazing. Did you get to meet them? I did not. Oh. I did not. My dad that seems did. Unfair. My dad did, so that's good. But <laughs> so I did not meet them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So this house was built around the 1850s. It had a lot of Victorian, you know, architecture and porches yeah. and those burnt down. You can see in this photo how the house looked originally. So cool. After the porches burnt, the columns were added to make it look more stately because this was mainly just a farming, working plantation. So we saw these super cool photos of the house. What are those little coins? So these were coins that were paid to the sharecroppers that were out here. Um, and it says Martin's Point, good for five or good for 10. So anybody that worked out here. It was could, their own currency. It was their own currency. But you'll find all kinds of cool stuff out here. We do, we do. Um, the marsh was actually their trash bin. So we find all sorts of wonderful old bottles and dolls and marbles and dice. And it's nice to find these little artifacts and you get a little bit of an insight into the life of the people here. So this is our dining room. Um, this is mainly like Christmas dinners and nothing's too fancy. I feel like everything fancy in this house is a little bit broken, but I think it makes it feel really good. Because you all have a pretty big family. We do, and it's gotten bigger since we all got married and now there's little ones in the, in the family. It's really fun. Running around. Exactly. And, and that summertime is really fun. Summertime is wonderful, yeah. My um, nieces come in, swim off the dock and shrimp, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. This is the only part of the house that y'all have renovated. Exactly, yeah. So okay. this is the only part of the house that we've cool. changed a lot. Um, the wall of the back of the house used to be right here, and so okay. we expanded the kitchen a little bit. So the floor, these are the only new floors, which don't look so new anymore. But it's nice just because we get so much more light in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. is the, you know, heart of the house. Because I feel like everyone always, no matter where you try to throw a party, everyone ends up in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen anyway. It's I mean, I love this little sitting nook. I, I mean, know. It's just cozy. I know. It's very cozy. It's a lot of fun. And I, I'm beating a dead horse here, but I just can't get over the views from every single room. I know. House. I know. And that's what's that's what's so wonderful is that we're because we're on a point of land, you just get this beautiful view on every side, which is amazing. This is one of the bedrooms. Um, something that's neat about this room is that in this window pane, um, one of the women that lived here, Edna Tolls, has her, etched her name 
in the glass, oh, wow. which is really cool. Did it you always, ever try the same thing as a child? I actually did. It didn't work, but this room <laughs> always scared me because of that. It cool. seems cooler now that you're not the one sleeping in here exactly. every night with Edna's presence. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> This is the spot. Isn't it wonderful up here? I mean, I see why he spent so much time on the roof if this was what he was looking at. Can y'all toss me a hammer? <laughs> yeah, this is really lovely out here. You get such a great view. The old post office used yeah. to be in the front yard right next to that magnolia tree. And then the ferry that took produce and people from Warmala to Charleston left um, right over there, oh, wow. which is pretty cool. I kind of wish we still did transportation that way. I'm tired of being in a car. <laughs> I, I actually would... love ferries. <laughs> Me too. They're about my pace. famous porch that it Allie is. requested. She yep. wanted a porch. She wanted blue shutters, which they added for the movie. And then she wanted a room with a view to paint from. And I think after seeing the inside, I can vouch for any of those rooms being perfect painting rooms. Well, thank you so much for having oh. us, Maggie. Thank this you. This has been it's so wonderful. fun. And I look forward to coming back. But Southern Living Readers, again, reminder, private residents, please keep your distance. But thanks again for having us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe. And if there's a Southern home that you think we should tour, let us know. If you think we should tour, let us know in the comments. Thanks so much. Bye. I just left a voice. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs>